Kate, Princess of Wales, was seen wearing a dazzling diamond and pearl tiara when attending the Crown Prince of Jordan's wedding last week. The Cambridge Lover's Knot Tiara, as it is formerly known, was one of the late Princess Diana's favourite pieces. After Princess Diana gave birth to Prince William in 1982, she was given the tiara and from then on, she became fond of the piece, frequently wearing it to royal engagements. The tiara is actually a replica of another and was created for Queen Mary in 1914 by the House of Garand from pearls and diamonds already owned by her family. The original is thought to be held in an unknown private collection. Replica or not, the £4 million tiara is said to bring some issues to she who wears it and most likely caused problems for the Princess of Wales after the Crown Prince of Jordan's wedding. The lover's knot is so heavy, it would cause the wearer headaches. Royal insiders claim Diana would often complain about it. Not only that but the former Princess of Wales would also find wearing the jewellery too noisy due to the swinging pear-shaped pearls. Celebrity stylist Miranda Holder, who explores royal facts, hacks and fashion on her TikTok at the Miranda Holder, told The Mirror, apparently because it was so heavy she used to get terrible headaches from wearing it. But this has not stopped Kate from falling in love with the piece and wearing it on several occasions including at the latest royal wedding in Jordan where Crown Prince Hussein tied the knot with architect Rajway Alsif, the daughter of an influential Saudi family. The Princess of Wales was seen wearing a sequined Jenny Packham gown for the banquet, hosted by the groom's parents, King Abdullah II and Queen Rania, at al Husayniya Palace. She paired this with the tiara and the late Queen's Greville chandelier earrings. This was the first time Kate has worn the tiara outside the UK as part of her and William's surprise trip to the Middle Eastern country. The tiara had not been seen for some 20 years until Kate wore it to a reception at Buckingham Palace. After Diana and Charles divorced in 1996, the tiara was returned to the Queen as it had been on loan and it was reportedly locked away in a safe at Buckingham Palace. Although Diana was allowed to keep her jewellery, she could not hold on to the tiara as it had been on loan. It was reportedly first loaned to Diana by the late Queen in 1981 as a wedding gift, although she chose to wear the Spencer tiara, a family heirloom on the big day itself. But Diana did not seem to have much luck with wearing the Spencer tiara either because this piece similarly gave her a splitting headache on her wedding day, according to her brother Earl Spencer. It was not until after William's birth in 1982 that she began wearing it with it quickly becoming one of her favourites. Queen Mary sacrificed a tiara from her own jewellery collection, the Ladies of England tiara, when the Cambridge Lover's Knot tiara was made according to the court jeweller. After Mary died in 1953, Queen Elizabeth II inherited the piece and wore it during the 50s before moving on to the likes of the girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara.